for my very special granddaughter. <laughs> I want you to have this sealed envelope. <coughs> no, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen closely. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burdens of modern life. Bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. Twenty years later. Dude, I think our grandfather was on his deathbed when that happened. Joja, join us and thrive. Right now, I guess we're all in work mode. Hmm. Dude, I would hate to ever see- Is that Mario? I would hate to ever see myself be in that position. Oh my god, is that man on drugs? Look at all those pills on his desk. Goodness gracious. Dude. Being monitored like 24-7 and have to be in one of those cubicles, I would fucking just, ugh. Dude, let's see. I already see, you can already see it in my, my eyes. It's like, oh, fuck this shit, man. Fuck this shit, I'm out, buddies. Oh, there's our letter. Dear Tori, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what, ha what mattered most in life, real connection with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I enclosed the deed to, this, to that place, my pride and joy, Pangea Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This is my precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa! P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Oh! Oh! Grandpa! Thank you so much, Grandpa. beautiful view oh man I wonder how long it's gonna take for us to get to Stardew Valley dude I'm so excited hopefully everyone over there is kind of nice that, 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 that's the situation Stardew Valley half a mile away oh look at the little birdie a sign of good things to come Robin, the local carpenter, Mayor Louise, uh, sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right there now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you follow me. Dude, this field's fucked up. This is Pangea Farm. Oh, goodness gracious! Look at this one. underneath that mass. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here you are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. <laughs> Welcome, I'm Louise, the mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been talk asking about you. Not every day that a new move, uh, someone new moves in, it's quite a big deal. 
So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Yeah, that's pretty decent looking things. Try to keep it in condition. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt though. Rude. Young folks these days are rude. Don't listen to her, Tori. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her household upgrades. Huh. Anyway, you know she's tired from the long journey. You must you should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The town people ought to appreciate that. I think his voice keeps changing every time I give him a new voice. <laughs> her pouting over there and shit. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good night. Good luck. Not good night. Good luck. Can't read you guys. Just putting words in the fucking thing. guys okay so something I want to tell you guys is the fact that I tried playing this game once already and for some reason the recording was great and it looked like a horse's ass and so I had to restart over so I do know the gist of the game so it's not gonna be um, too much of a hassle and I'm kind of sad that that's the situation parsnips so you received 15 parsnip seeds Here's a little, here's a little sun to get you started. Mary Louise. And so we have a lot of things here I want to introduce you guys. To get started, let's cultivate and harvest parsnips, which is nice. Introduction. We have to meet 28 people out of the entire town, so that's a lot of people to meet, honestly. And so sadly, I do know um, some interesting things that happen in this game. I didn't play too far along, but I, I got a decent way in, and then hit the fan when I went to go uh, edit it and sadly it just so just sad. So let's actually get um some stuff started. So let's actually get some um this is the area cleaned out. So I have 15 seeds. So let's see. gonna base it off of um Moon Factory Frontier since that series is starting on my channel. It's basically farming, fighting, um getting to know the townsfolk, kind of getting the townsfolk to fall in love with you, you know, become good friends with them, and you know just kind of exploring all this stuff. And that's the great thing about this. So I have a lot of things to do so I'm gonna clear up a little bit to get a chest going so that we can eventually go to the town and actually meet him. Give me a second guys. Hopefully 
now it's a lot better. Um, but yeah, it was just like maybe it's just a weird bug because it was I was having problems starting to the recording, and so that was something to keep in mind for myself. So something that we do want to keep in mind is that let's see, can I put this anywhere? That's a good place actually. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to figure out because earlier I also had a problem putting down damn all this damn shit. So let's put all this stuff away. So first off, we don't have a lot of inventory. The first bar you guys see right here, on the whole one through um, equal, is the only inventory space we have. Now we have extra inventory space, but we have to expand that. So that is one of the first things we actually have to do. We have to save up enough money to actually gain that. And so let's actually go into town, and I'm gonna explain a bit more what's going on. So basically, while I was trying to, while I was a little pissy that um, the game wasn't recording, I was doing a little research to see what's the best route to do, what's the best things, trying to get little hints and stuff like that. So I can explain to you guys if you guys decide to get this game yourself, I can give you guys some good advice. So some of the advice I um, heard is to buy as much seeds as possible. You buy seeds like now like you might as well i might as well waste all the money i have right now just buying seeds that is the main thing oh people hello people sam oh your hair just like super saiyan shit hey i'm sam good to meet you hello is that it okay hello is that sam so today's the first of spring how convenient that i call the first day of spring wait go i'm talking to you Ah, Mayor Louise told me you just arrived. I'm Marina. Hello, Marina. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by any time. No problem. Is that it? Oh, wait, more people. Wait, come back. I want to talk to you. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Good afternoon, Leah. Hello. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Is that it? Picked a good time to move here. Spring is lovely. Okay, cool. We're meeting people so quickly already. Oh, people, people. Oh, that's right. I heard someone move, was moving into the old, old farm. Wait, is that it? Um, sorry. I'm just all over the place. It's kind of a shame, really. I was, I was really enjoying exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Oh, Abigail, you can do that anytime. The new farmer. I'm Caroline. Is that it? No. Nope. My husband runs the general store here. And you haven't met my daughter Abigail. She's the pale one with the purple hair. Yes, I've met her, but I haven't met your husband yet, actually. I believe your husband's the one at the cashier. And this is most of your daughter. Hi. Hey, it's Miss Tori. <laughs> Miss Tori, the new farmer. I'm Perry, the owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll buy also. I also um. I also buy produce from you for a good price. Okay, cool. Okay, so a lot of things. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's do this. Take seven days to produce. Buy five. So you can buy five of everything. Or not? Oh shit! I wasted my money. <laughs> Waste my money, you guys. Oh well. Anyways, so we have to buy as much seeds as we possibly can while we can. Ooh, more people. Hello. Hi. Hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Oh, hello, Granny. I sure will call you Granny. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. I can't do it with the Italian accent, honestly. Uh, well, hello there. I am Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Book Saloon. Is it? Hi there, Tori. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Okay, is that it for people here? Got no money, so I wasted it all on gardening. And that is going to be a big thing. So like I said, once you guys start this game, if you guys buy this game, which I really do recommend because this game is actually pretty fun, um, buy as many seeds as you guys can the first second you guys can. Um... Because once the new season comes, who is this? Jody? Oh, you weren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. 
Uh, it's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could actually change things. Cool. So yeah, so how many people have we met so far? Well, people, that's a good amount. So the first time I couldn't find anybody, but now I think I get the gist of where everyone is. Oh, wait. Let me talk to you, son. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mom says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Your mom is right. Even if I come up to you and talk to you, you still shouldn't say anything to strangers. Um, oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. It's where I work. Is that the only person who lives here? Uh, I guess so. So yeah, so buy seeds as many as much as you can when you start out. Then after that, save up money to buy extended inventory because that's going to be a hell of a savior in the long run. After that, I think when they give extra quests, I think I'll explain to you guys more what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Okay, so let's look around and see where else is any more people around. Oh look, another person. Uh, Maru. Oh, aren't you the oh, aren't you the uh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Hi, Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Is that it? Uh, you know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community's dramatic, uh, dynamic. Uh, it's exciting. I'm excited. Is that it? <laughs> Okay, so 15 out of 28 people. Now, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find all 28 people in the first episode, cause yeah, I don't want the episode to run too long. I wanna get some good information down for you guys. Okay, see? Okay, cool. Talk to this guy now. Er, hi, I'm Clint. Hello, Clint. I'm the town's blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. That's it? Okay, cool. I don't know why I gave him that voice. I just did. <laughs> I think there's someone in here. Hello there. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Oh, uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. Uh, we don't have any artifacts to display. Hoping to redeem that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? No problem, no problem, sir. Is anyone in here actually? There's no books missing here. Okay, cool. Well, not cool, but let me see. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> I say cool regardless of what, what I mean. Okay, anyways. So let's go out. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's see. So there's a lot to like learn from this game. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I didn't play too much. I only just got like the gist of it, and I'm so excited to see um, how far we can get into this game. Hopefully, we can make this an entire series. But that always depends on you guys. If you guys like this video, like it, comments. That's how. That's what lets me know if you guys like a series. Like right now. Um, ooh, what the heck? Ah, Gaston. Well, actually, LA. But he was like Gaston from like Beauty and the Beast. Ah, the new farmer. We all have been expecting you, and whose arrival has sparked many conversations. I'm Ellie. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, see you, Elliot. Anyways. Oh, it's the Mayor Luis. So how was your first night in the old cottage? That's pretty good. Your grandfather put, used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. Okay. Ooh, anything to collect. So collecting stuff is also key. Key. Collect everything you guys can. Store it. What's this? Hmm. With 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, all these things you gotta just, you know, collect, observe, enjoy. <laughs> I can't, you have to remember to enjoy. Okay, let's see. Anyone else down and about? So I think, um, if also, if you ever have any trouble trying to find everyone, uh, the best place to go is at night to the saloon on Fridays. Go on fishing, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. So yeah, tomorrow, uh, usually Fridays is the best day to go to the saloon if you're trying to finish this one. Out. It's the first week. So, um, I'm not going to waste my day trying to hunt everyone down, so I'm going to go home and actually try to finish up uh, farming.
uh, clear out some land, get the farming done, because like I said, that is the most important thing you need to do because farming is what, make, is what makes you money. What makes you money is how you progress in the game. And obviously you want to make sure you have enough money so you can make, you know, just, just be able to do things. Because without money, you can't do anything, because that's how life runs. Money. Money this, money that. I mean, it's almost time to like go to bed anyway, so I think we're good to go. I mean, this is good timing. Okay, so. Oh my god, thankfully I have enough room to actually get here. Okay, so let's put all this stuff away. Okay, let's put all this away. Let's actually, take this out and take this out and let's put that away. Uh. Ooh, let's not do that. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. This is what I want. The hoe. I want my hoe, man. Oopsie. Anyways. I think this is kale. And this is some flowers. Okay. I'm gonna put that away. So, as you guys, like I said earlier, this game is kind of like Room Factory Frontier. Um, it has the, you know how in Room Factory Frontier you have energy, uh, RP? Well, we have energy in this um, right bottom corner. That's right, right? That is right. And you have to make sure that doesn't go down because then you can pass out, you lose the rest of your day, and you end up in your bed. Anyway, it's not a bad thing, but, you know, I think I heard that you, people can pickpocket you. That's kind of, actually kind of creepy, actually. Keep that in inventory. And actually sell... Um, this and this, so I can get more of that in, in a bit. Um, but yeah, so let's put this stuff in the little chest over here and let's go to the next day. Cool, now let's hopefully get some decent money in the next day. So let's get some sleep. <laughs> 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 <laughs>